Hi, this is Brian Wilson with uh, BFW Classroom, and we're going to look at creating digital business cards for email signatures using Adobe Spark. Inside of Adobe Spark, you can use the templates. Uh, the one I used here during class was business card. As you can see, if you type it, it'll give you a list of different ones, and then you can peruse throughout all the different selections. Um, it really doesn't matter which one you pick. For students, I was trying to say to use one that was sort of simplified, so they're just swapping out different pictures. This one has a background to it that you could use. I did have a student use that one. Um, you could have one of these squares. Those also work really well for Zoom uh, icons. Here's one that's a simple picture and a name. And then I ended up picking the Rusty Smith one just because I like the way it looked. Once you have yours open, what you need to go ahead and do is start looking what pieces you want to replace. So I'm going to start with the graphic here. I went ahead and replaced the original icon or logo that they had. I looked through what I had before. Most of this is inside my computer or on my iPad. And then I ended up selecting one of my logo sets that I've already downloaded. You can do this inside of it by picking the logo app if you've already set up one of your brands. Now, once you load in a picture, make sure that you resize it and at least change the cropping when you swap one picture out for another or one image for another. It might be cropped previously by the other um, template, so just make sure you're mindful of what you do there. This one's a circle, so as you can see it has a double layered background um, behind the image, and you'll see that here in a second. So I made it too big, and now I'm trying to slide over. What they had done was taken a square and put it on an angle to kind of create that two textured color background and make some density or, or some depth to it. So here I'm going to take the text box that I already preloaded and begin to change them. So once you click on them, I change the name and the rest out. So one of the things that you want to notice when you have the preset templates, there might be issues when you type. Uh, make sure you don't have any empty blind breaks or anything like that. And again, typing on an iPad without a Bluetooth keyboard might be difficult for some students or for some teachers. Um, just make sure you look at your secondary font setups before you move to long two. You can see here I have both. So one of the things you'll notice here is that once I've typed it in, it did make my secondary primary text sort of mixed in with the lettering. I had to go back and change those. And now I'm gonna switch and start working on the second text block, moving and resizing the original so I have a nice format, and then starting writing into the other ones. I do recommend when I'm in class with students, if there is a template they use, to get rid of any phone numbers they have, because this will be added to uh, an email signature for school. I also didn't put my real email in here. I did use um, sort of a test email to put in for students so that way they aren't sending it to my, my primary work for these types of videos. And then also I put the web page that is linked to the other pieces that I use in class as well. The last thing I tell students to do here is once they're done is go ahead and make sure you have everything laid out. You have some nice empty negative space, but then you go around and check through the different color palettes and find one that you like. Again, thanks for watching. Hope you keep learning and you're always creating.